When I think about leaving my legacy, I think about leaving music that's just timeless, you know, that can be played from generation to generation. I remember sitting back after I wrote everything, I just said to myself, I finally did it. I wanted to show my true colors with full-on production, which is, for me, everything that I want to accomplish as a producer. This track is the first track I made for the album. I remember I was playing Time Warp, I think it was two or three years ago, I forgot. The last one that was in New York before this one. Eric was playing and we're talking, we're just bullshitting. He's like, yo, I want to hear some different stuff from you. And he was putting me up for a challenge. So this track I probably made almost two years ago maybe. I don't know what it was like in my mind, like how just the one note inspired me. This note inspired me and this track is like the perfect example of how my sound works. It's like you got a, a really groovy bass line, like a housey or a disco bass line with the balls of techno. And um, I think that's like the New Yorker in me is like I, I like things that have a little bit more deepness to them or a little bit more heaviness to the sound. So this track kind of just keeps evolving and keeps changing. I wanted to like build the journey up and down and create a ride for the listener, you know? So like the vocals is all me here. And I just added like some chorus, echo, filters. Like I didn't want the vocal to be too like out there. I kind of wanted it to be hidden. There's a lot going on though. And it was important for me to like really show like the true um, sounds coming out. Like I didn't want it to sound too cluttered. I wanted everything to have its space. For me, it's another record that I'm like super proud of as a producer. Um, it touches another side that I really haven't put out there and you know vocals everything that Eric kind of pushed me for it it had in there and like for me I don't think I can make a better example of a record that I would want to share all right so this is Worley Avenue this is the block I grew up on this is the house it's getting actually rebuilt it looks like certain things are getting redone that garage it was actually a studio that my dad built. There was a little section of the garage and then behind that was uh, the basement and then the studio. As a kid, you know, I would go down there in the studio that my dad built and uh, I would jam out with him. I'd play drums, he would play keyboards, he'd sing. It's just like amazing memories, you know, nothing but amazing times in that studio and in this house. All I can remember back then was he would be blasting like the the top 40 house tracks of that time. So like I remember like when CC Pettiston came out with her album and I remember him playing uh, We Got a Love Thing. That was like my introduction to like house music. It was like at that time growing up in the early 90s, house music was the shit. It was it was everything. You had so many radio hits that were house tracks. You know, being from Staten Island, New York, it was a big thing. New York was on another level when it came to house music at that time. So being so young and getting introduced to that style of music at a young age kind of just stuck with me for the rest of my life, clearly. 